Orto stared at his squad with malice in his eyes. Serata then asked Boruto, what, what was that? And why are you looking at us like that? Boruto didn't respond. That's when he disappeared in the line of vision, and then reappeared in front of Serata. Boruto proceeded to punch her with sent her flying into the trees behind them. Konohamaru yelled for Boruto to stop, and Boruto only replied with one word. No. Boruto's chakra seemed to keep growing with every second that passed by, and Mizuki knew what he had to do. He entered sage mode. Boruto smirked at this, and he vanished once more, and appeared behind Mizuki, and he created Rasengan. But instead of using his normal vanishing Rasengan, Boruto used a normal one, and it connected with Mitsuki, who sent Mitsuki flying into a boulder before he could even react. Konohamaru knew he had to stop Boruto, so he prepared a Rasengan and he launched at Boruto. Boruto saw this, and when Konohamaru was about to land the attack, Boruto stopped it by catching his wrist mid attack. And he crushed it. Konohamaru writhed in pain. And that's when Boruto punched him so hard that sent Konohamaru hurtling back into the trees. Konohamaru could only watch as the student walked away. And then his vision faded. Boruto didn't kill them. He only knocked them out, but his team was severely injured. Eventually, word spread to Konoha about what had happened. And Boruto's family heard what he did. Naruto couldn't believe what his son had done, and Sasuke wanted to bring Boruto back as soon as possible, because he didn't want Boruto to become a rogue ninja like he had. And so, for the next few months, Boruto was on the run from Konoha Shinobi. He went from town to town, disguising who he was. As he did this, Boruto continued to train getting even stronger with every passing day. That's when Boruto had a vision. He saw Konoha, but it was in ruins and destroyed. And above it, he saw countless white figures. And he immediately knew who they were. Otsutsuki. He looked around more, and it seemed as if there were dozens, no, hundreds of them. And for some reason, he knew how powerful they were. They were all many times stronger than Momoshiki. The vision then ended. Boruto knew what he had to do. He would get so strong that he would surpass the Otsutsuki clan members, and he would kill each and every one of them. And after he did that, he would take over the entire world and shape it into his image. He would complete this goal no matter the cost, even if it meant killing everyone close to him. His squad, his friends, his sensei, and even his family. With his new goal in mind, Boruto continued to travel to his next town. That's when he sensed a familiar presence getting closer to him. It was his sensei. Sasuke. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go subscribe to my other channels. The links to those will be down in the description below. Also, go follow me on Twitter. The links to those will be down in the description as well. And yeah, I guess this is the end of the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.